morning, can we? Not a bad-looking tinderbox you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to say it all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Right. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? I've no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. There's a prize worth taking. Good! Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell over soft minds. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy idea that you could snap at any moment and unseam them from prick to sternum. Put them in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with the hose pipe on him. Put I in the morning. Wait, hey, up, she rises. Wait, hey, up, she rises. Wait, hey, up, she rises. Put I in the morning. Fire what cannons you will. And land a few strikes if you must. But for God's sake, don't sink her. It's no fun fishing far from the sea. Although it. She's disabled now and taking on a decent amount of water. So keep your cannons quiet. Take care not to sink her. Ease in close. We'll ready the grapnels. You'll be the sea dog's dinner. Grab them to that feet. Tengo un buen día, señor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you owe. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? 
Inglés! Little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods. And we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? Please do repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hole and take everything that isn't nailed down. Trinkets. Sod it, you. I'm looking for a prize that'll set me up for life. I'll be king of the West Indies, then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be, not England. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver, just split it and sail home. Sure. But it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. Douse the royals and tops! I said douse! Douse the four! Hurry! Tops ready to go! Captain has the helm. And roll, mates, let's move! Man your stairs, we trim too!
Trim off the wind, my boys! Ease her! We're clear, Captain. Ease off the wind! Call it all sail! Top, top, top! Douse those names!
¿Necesita algo? take today. Keep this up and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here, but praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Fly proud. I will. I hand over the docket I lend you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, we'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch. As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Aye, easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. 